thing. Let's get ready for Coachella Day 3. <coughs> First, I'm gonna go fix the hair. Uh, Why does it smell like the killer and barbecue? And then I'll be right back, okay? How much is too much Advil? Do you think if I take 20, I'll die? Every single time I breathe, I puke just a little bit in my mouth. Everybody say hi, King Kenny. <laughs> oh my God, you're a thick shape. Oh my God, hi. So I actually am here on a brand ship with LaVouche, you know, the UTI medication. They said I could bring a plus one. They just weren't specific that they said it couldn't be of the canine species. I've just been tricking everyone and telling him that he's my tiny assistant. Honestly, no one has noticed because no one looks up from their phone so it's like a complete benefit there's definitely still some vodka in that from before. So day one of Coachella, we started taking pictures at like 11 a.m. in the morning. But by the time I finished, and I didn't even take that many, it was already 3 a.m. So I was like, okay, it's too late to go now. So I'm just gonna good night sleep and go day two. Now I was given the ultimate VIP pass for free. And a lot of people are like so mad that I didn't use it, but like get over yourself. I felt stressed. And then yesterday was just like, so the LaDouche team did put on a breakfast for us. Like, look, I love them, but I don't know what the hell is in that UTI medication, but I mixed it with my tequila in the morning. And then after that, that is such a blur. <laughs> so then Victoria's Secret invited our house to come part of their house. And it was a pill party. So call me crazy for tackling Dixie D'Amelio into the pool. And then the security guard tried to shank me. So obviously I had to grab his taser and taser him, but it wasn't actually him. Turns out it was Justin Bieber. I was like, wow, that security guard is really skinny. And then another one came out. So just my instincts kicked in. Like my daddy did raise no pussy so I've just swung at this hulking mess and it turns out it's actually Hallie Bieber. Now she actually does look like a security guard. She got broad shoulders and she can run. Always chasing after Selena. So then that was kind of like low key so after that like we didn't really have a choice you know the police came. But I was like guys let's go to Coachella. Found a helicopter. And I thought it was for me because every other time I've been to Coachella the boys sent me a chopper. It turns out it was Lizzo's and she wasn't gonna let me in so I just climbed on the bottom railing and hung on. I'm hanging from the bottom of the helicopter and I see these beautiful boats come out and there's Lizzo trying to curb stop me off her helicopter and like fair enough but I thought she'd be Cool with it. But she didn't really get a chance to start me because I jumped off like I was Tom Cruise in one of those impossible movies. Only like two feet from the ground that I ran to Coachella. And I got like definitely danced for a while. Like, was it on a stage? Was it on a person's face? I don't know, okay? But I'm like so hungry. So I just like stumbled back into this tent and I found a burger on a table. So I'm like, obviously I'm gonna eat it because like no one's gonna be mad. Turns out they were. It was Tyler the Creator. And he's like screaming at me and I'm like, stop hitting on me. Oh my gosh. Like, take a step back, Tyler. Y'all can call me later. Well, okay, I feel like Tyler the Creator would be like really difficult to date. Like, he'd just be like so much. Oh, no, my pencil. Stole that off uh, Kendall Jane in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, that, that's, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So then I find a couple of my friends. They're like, Emily, oh my gosh, there's a worn out for your rest. And I'm like, I don't know what artist that is, but sure, we can go watch them. I don't know what happened, but I got sent a bunch of pics and a bunch of videos of me performing on stage at Coachella. And it turns out I did a full 10 song set. It turns out there's meant to be a surprise set from someone called Beyonce. Girl, I don't know who that is. So then I was about to like skedaddle off and someone puts me in like a headlock. And I'm like, oh my gosh, who's that? I flip them over. Who is it? It's Alex Earl. So we have to obviously have like a WWE Smackdown. Like, I didn't win because like one, I did take it easy on her, but two, did you know that she can bench 200 kilos? And then three, apparently she got like the most insane brand deal with the CIA where she's actually an informant for them now. And technically, if you want to say it, she is a spy for the government. Either way, I couldn't care less. All I was trying to find out was, Alex, how do you get the nose so snatched? Jake. Then after that, I was like, okay, bye, Alex. I'll leave him. And then all these men rock up and they put a black bag over my head. They shove in the back of the van. Turns out it was the Mexican cartel. Now this is a bomb that you guys, I do apologize to them. I did do a brand deal with them where I was meant to go and post about a day in life with them. And I forgot to post. So they were not happy. But it's all good. We filmed it dance and like we're like besties again they did drop in the middle of the desert look i don't want to cause any more beef between us but their swag bag sucked because all they gave me was a gun with one bullet like i'm sorry at least give me like a highlighter or something like whoever is on your pr team you really need to work on that yeah hucka walked my way out of the desert but actually wasn't that difficult only took like six hours i was about to tell you i did fight and kill a coyote don't worry i'm being ethical and i'm gonna wear it hard as a skirt today because you know reuse recycle reproduce whatever that is so then finally i think that i'm home and i'm like right i'm gonna go to sleep it actually turns out that i fell asleep in the poosh house yeah they're pills so then like courtney kardashian is screaming at me throwing grapes at my head rude i need my REM sleep she sounds like one of those kids with braces that can't fully open their mouth you know she's like stop there's someone in the pool security who are you why do you have a dead coyote in my pool so then guess who comes out next alex earl and she's got a nerf gun she's peppering the face she's like get out of here and i'm like just tell me how how you do your contour. And after that, it's pretty like, hey, I just pushed Courtney into the pool, took Dixie D'Amelio's phone charger, but I feel like she has more than one. Then I went into Courtney Kardashian's room because she used to like dry it off. Turns out she can't swim. Is she a Kardashian or is she a gender? I don't really know. Um, and then I just found like a big drawer of Adderall and I just ate all of them. And then we're here. So there you have it, guys. I'm ready for day three. <gasps> oh my God. Do you guys want to see my outfit? Now, guys, you're going to love this because it is technically thrifted. So one time I was at a party at Adam's West house and I just found this in a glass case and I just went and took it. <laughs> he is still trying to take me to court over it. Like, calm down, girly. It's not even your color. <laughs>